Is bigger really better when it comes to police departments? Well, officials in five Luzerne communities say yes. A new regional police force could start patrolling the streets of those communities by the end of the year. 2822 <laughs> Eyewitness News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us now live from Wyoming Borough with the story. Andy. Good evening, Candace and Nick. We are standing in front of the, what will be the headquarters for the Wyoming Area Regional Police Force. This is the former state police head, headquarters for Troop P on Wyoming Avenue. And these local officials say that this larger department will better serve and protect their residents. We're all excited. Um, you know, we think that uh, we've tried to do this for the past 20 years. We finally have gotten to the point where all the towns recognize that it has to be done. Um, everybody's short with uh, police officers. And that is just one reason the communities of Wyoming, West Wyoming, West Piston, Exeter, and Exeter Township decided to form the new Wyoming Area Regional Police Department. We all have issues covering uh, schedules and shifts with our police. We've done multiple uh, advertising to bring in part-timers and, uh, you know, there's just not enough people out there. Joe Pisano is president of the Exeter Borough Council and a member of the Regional Police Force Commission, which has studied the idea for more than a year now. He says the idea failed in the past for many reasons, including politics. I think it's probably because people didn't want to give up their own power in their own town, and the same thing with police. And the new police department will provide 24-hour coverage. Eyewitness News spoke with Wyoming Mayor Joe Dominic. A lot better coverage. Um, basically, all these boroughs right now do back each other up um, on a regular basis, but now it's going to be all housed under one department. And the cost, he says, will be lower than what each community is paying for separate departments. Now, State Representative Aaron Coffer helped negotiate with state officials to obtain the former state police headquarters and then helped secure a million dollars of state grants to purchase and renovate the former barracks on Wyoming Avenue. Being able to have that and to be able to utilize that by the new police department is going to be a huge asset of, once again, turning lemons into lemonade. Lindo Sabatini runs businesses in Exeter and says for him, it's all about improved police coverage. For me, uh, m the biggest problem is, I, 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 well, just like our business and any business around here, it's hard to staff it. So if you're able to, to have to staff one police force instead of five, it sounds to me like it's going to be a, better for everybody. Now, the Regional Police Commission may, in fact, hire the new police chief, the first ever police chief, at their meeting tonight at 7 o'clock at the Exeter Borough. Now, overall, the new force will have 13 full-time officers, 12 part-time officers, and operate on a budget of $1.7 million. And once again, we're told that the cost to taxpayers in those five communities will not increase. Now, if all goes as planned, then the officers could begin patrolling the streets and the neighborhoods by the end of the year. Nick and Candace. Right. Andy reporting live for us tonight. Thank you. Mm -hmm.